Testing. Do we have audio? Do we have audio? Hey guys. Hey everybody. Welcome to On Cinema Town Hall. This is your host, Tim Heidecker. And I'm joined by uh, my guest, Greg Turkington, who's joining me here in the, in the studio. Hey guys, this is uh, something different. Yes, we are here to talk about the big premiere tonight, which is Decker Unclassified, coming to Adult Swim at midnight tonight. And uh, we are very excited to present this show to you. We've worked very hard on it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to be taking your calls here for the next hour and try to stay on topic. We want to talk about Decker and anything else going on uh, in our world, of course. We'll be open for discussion. But no I'm gonna... spoilers. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are now... Skype is on. And my uh... we await your calls. Any movie trivia too that people have that you well, we want, want to, try to, to stay focused that on. You could stump the buff, and then we could give that money Let's to try charity. To okay, sorry. Just keep everything on topic today. We'll take Scott Smith calling in. Hey, Scott, how are you? Scott. Oh, I know what's going. So Scott, are you there? Um, Will Smith would be a better person to call in. That would be pretty cool. Scott, are you there? Oh, Scott, are you there? Yes, I am. Sorry about that. What's going on? No, you're not much. How are you guys doing? We're very excited. You know, this is a great day for us. We've worked very hard on this night. It's it's a long time coming. So, how can we help you? What's your question? Yeah, um, I don't know if it's so much a question as just a comment. Um, I just want to say I I'm so excited to see the show move from purely an internet-based show on the cable television. I was wondering if you guys could maybe expand on that and what was the process of uh, moving it to a different it, medium? It, it was always a movie, you know, and it's just a question of a movie being broken up and uh, what's the best way to present that, you know. Um, unfortunately, yeah. um, some of these movie theater chains, you know, have uh, certain, uh, they have a bad attitude, I think. Yeah, I think um, Greg is right to some degree. You know, this, I feel like it's going from what essentially is cable. Originally, it was cable because of, you know, your cable provider is the one providing the Internet. So that was cable. And now, it, when, in my mind, it's on network TV because it's part of a, n a larger network that's exposed. So we, we feel it's a little more accurate to say we've gone from cable to network TV. Well, yeah, I think that's a very accurate statement. All right, Scott, um, listen, I have to go because there's so many other people that want to talk. No, totally understandable. Well, congratulations, guys. He's, okay. Emmett, Emmett, you're on the line. Tim. Welcome. You're on the On Cinema Town Hall meeting. You're speaking with Tim Heidecker. That's me. I'm the host of this show as well as the host of On Cinema at the Cinema. And I'm joined by my guest, Greg Turkington. I'm, I'm fine not being a, a co-host on this show, just a guest. What is your question? Well, it's great to finally talk to you guys. That's okay. Um, I'm calling you from Ireland. It's currently 2 a.m. Um, and thanks for having me. Um, my question is, what is it about On Cinema that makes me happy that's our question for you so. that's our question for you i mean hopefully we're providing you with some guidance as far as what movie you're going you're going to see and expertise sort of take some of the guest guest work out of it but uh, saves you some some of those uh those euros you know because you don't want to go spending uh 12 15 euros on a movie and find out it was a dud and uh, we let you know which movies are duds so you can skip them all right, thank you, Emmett, and all the best to uh, our Irish friends out there. Let's go to Nicole Stevens. Nicole Stevens, you're on the line. All right, thank you, Emmett, and all. And you got to mute your feed once I pick up. Nicole Ste uh, Stevens. Stevens. Nicole Stevens, you're on the line. All right, thank you, Emmett, and all. Hello, and you Nicole. Mute your feed once I pick up. Nicole Ste uh, Stevens. Hello, Tim. Hello, Greg. Can you, can you mute the feed, please? Mute the feed. Okay. Now. Okay, is that good? Yes. How can I help right, you sorry tonight? Sorry about that. What is your question? 
Um, I was curious if James Dean is making a return on Decker tonight. Nope. Uh, we're, I'm not interested in working with him. I, I lobbied for it, but it's, yeah, we have to keep the oh. peace. We have to keep the peace here. And so. I do acknowledge that that man is James Dean, I guess. I still, my, you know, I, I the jury's out in my mind. I don't care. That's sort of the main point. I, I've got bigger fish to fry than wondering if some old drunk, uh, hobo is this, some actor that no one cares about anymore anyways. So well, he's not. I mean, when you look at people like Marlon Brando compared to compare him to Marlon Brando or even Robert De Niro, they're they're uh -huh. three heads of the same snake. And I do think we'll be working with James Dean again on something. You know, I actually yeah, I was talking to him about. He's not a, that good a, though. If you if you look at his work, it's not that impressive compared spent, to people like well, Al Pacino he's one of the all -time legends. or Tom he's, Hanks. He's definitely better than Al Pacino. Back in those days, there you know there weren't that many actors anyway, so it wasn't that hard if, to be a number one actor. If Dean hadn't gone into hiding, he would have had the roles that Pacino snagged. Honestly, well, but, but Dean decided to go into hiding, and I'm talking to him now about uh, a Western that I've written, sort of. A movie. Western, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and he would play... Uh, that would be a, a terrible idea. Billy the Kid. All right, thanks, Nicole. N lovely talking to you. And are you going to watch tonight? Yes, thank you, guys. I can't wait. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks. All right, let's talk to Sam Nachinson. Sam? Hi. What is your question for uh, us here at the town hall? Um, I was just wishing that people people would would let you guys be funny and let you guys be the comedians and and not not try to be funny i'm not sure you know? I'm, I'm not sure i'm yeah. getting the, the the question here. i don't i don't understand this, i i just i don't know man all but right you know well, it sounds like you got a lot of trouble a lot of problems going on in your life Sounds and like for you, you to, to find call a wishing well for and all you for you to call and in it. and ruin everyone's night here on a Friday night is just frankly sad and I wish you the best but I actually do wish you the worst okay um, I don't know what that's about this we got to have positivity today it's an important day Max oh hi hi Tim how are you and uh, forget how are you what's your question here for you today we don't have a lot of time yeah yeah I'll Cut to the chase. I'm not doing great, Tim. Have you uh, seen what the shit that Greg has been putting on Twitter? I don't have time for that. I mean, I'm busy. Basically, don't, don't rain on our parade, man. What is he saying? Because I'm not paying attention to every well, little thing listen, that comes up. Greg, 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 you can forgive a murderer, but you cannot forgive a traitor. That's what I always say. And this is treason at the highest level. Uh, he's advertising the show not, not as Decker, but as Kington. He's I saw that. He starts calling the name of the show The Adventures of Kington. And why don't you understand the name of the show is Decker Unclassified? No, no, no. Well, I've never said that the name of the show was The Adventures of Decker and Kington. What I'm saying is that's the subtitle of the show. For well, instance, the first season, the the first the season was called Decker Classified. Right. The next one don't start uh, was with me Decker with Port of Call Hawaii. <laughs> And then you had Decker versus Dracula, and now you have Decker unclassified, the adventures of Decker and Kington. Well, that is not correct. Nowhere on any paperwork or in any legal way is the it's name all, of the show. It's on Twitter. It's on okay. adultswim.com. It's on... No, it's not. If you can find somewhere where it's written, the adventures of Kington, that's coming no, not from... Decker right. unclassified, the My, adventures Max, of Decker and Max, I apologize. He, he, he just not... Can you guys send some to... screen captures that uh, prove my point to Tim? Because... That's how the show was originally pitched to me. Jaden, thank you. Thanks so much, Max. Jaden, you're on the line. Jaden, answer the call. Uh, hello, Tim. What do you want? I'm tired uh, of this. I, um, I can't hear you on the stream. Hello, Tim. Yes. What hello, is Tim. up? Can I can I get um a meat man and a pizza? Just wasting our time here when we're trying to actually talk to people that want to jack houston jack hey, man. mute the stream jack wasting our time here right. when we're trying to actually jack can talk you mute the stream it's just jack. like a like a tv where you turn the volume down but you do it on the computer thank you mute everybody listening mute the stream when i pick up on you jack houston what's your question um 
I'm wondering about your reviews of movies. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with what you've said about a lot of them. Okay. That's what makes the show so exciting, um, is that it's a variety of Well, wait a minute now. Who, which, which did, what did we get wrong? I don't feel like we got anything wrong. But I'm curious to think what you think. And, and also well, what your qualifications are, what your, um, why you, you consider yourself an expert. I'm, I'm part of a, um, a group of university students. Oh, here we go. The elites have showed up to tell us how we're supposed to think and feel. It's, huh? Um, remove, remove movies. First of all, are you even and, a dude? You're, you're the um, student and we're the teacher. First so. of all, where are you calling from? Um, from my bedroom. No, but what country are you calling from? I'm calling from a country called Australia. Okay. So the, the, you're, and yet, so you're calling in to lecture us about what, mo what movies are good and what movies are bad, and you're not even ca calling well, in from this country? No, uh, I'm calling from a country called Australia. Well, let me tell you something. You better thank your lucky stars every single day that you have your big brother up here in the United States of America watching your ass. And you'll take the movies that we send down there, and you'll love them or you won't, but I don't really care. Oh, you know, you will, you will love them. We have a lot of good movies. All right, so go ahead. Um, Give me an example of a movie that we got wrong. I can't wait to hear this. He's oh, look at this is no, him. Is what, what, uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember what, anymore. For, uh, episode seven, um, you talked about Pompeii, and it's a great movie. I don't even know what that movie is, man. Well then, go open the internet and find out. Don't call me and give me shit. So you haven't because seen, I'm doing my seen, job. So you haven't seen you it. You haven't seen Pompeii. You've missed a great opportunity to have a, a really nice night in. Um, I would definitely get some some popcorn and a couple of sodas, which I believe uh, was Tim's rating for it. Was five bags and two sodas, yeah. and and just enjoy it. It's a long movie, but it's, sometimes it's that can too. be good. Sometimes I watch three movies in a night, but other times I'll watch two long movies in. The same night. Just be good. All right. Just Thanks very much, Jack. We've heard well enough of you. All right. And Pompeii you know, is a great movie. So thanks for uh, go hop around me. like a kangaroo. I'm I might tired go, of I that. Might go watch Pompeii and actually, Hannah Green. You're on. Australia your was another good. Movie Hannah, Gre that, Hannah Green. That, uh, mute your stream. Jack may have seen. Hannah Green. Mute your stream. <laughs> Hannah Green. Mute your stream. What do you want? What is your question? <laughs> yes. This is a male, not named Hannah Green, but she's here. All right, what is your question? Do you think that uh, John Carpenter or Cronenberg was a better visual director, or were they both just kind of full of it? I'm going to turn that over to my expert, Greg Turkington. All right, Greg, same question. Cronenberg or Carpenter? Well, they're both great. I would give the nod to Carpenter simply because he made more movies, and that gives you more chances to see uh, his expertise behind the camera. I can agree with that, but Cronin has some really out there stuff. All right, well, sure he does. I mean, I mean they're, they're both they're both legends. You asked him his opinion, and now you're giving him now you yeah. now now you're questioning his opinion, even though he's the expert. Well, I mean, on whose terms is he the expert? On our terms and on your terms. I mean, we have we have quite a few people calling in to get some of this expertise. Yeah, and you're and, clogging up the line, and I'm tired of it. Well, All right, I'm going to Justin. This is Deweese. the number one. Hold on. Uh, web Justin review, Deweese. Uh, movie review show on the web. Justin so. Deweese, you're on the line. Justin Deweese, mute your feed. I'm talking to you. I'm going to hang up if you don't ask a question. Uh, we all ever do a episode featuring Jenny Skylark. Who? Jenny Skylark. I don't know what you're talking about. Get off my line. William Tomey is calling. William Tomey, where are you calling from, William? Hey, I'm calling from Mississippi. How you doing down there? I'm Miss doing great. Hold on a minute now. Wait. Did you see Mississippi Burning? That would that was shot in your home state, and it was a great, great movie. Uh, unfortunately, I did not. All right, what's your question? I have a question. Uh, often, when I think of America, I think of you know a cheeseburger, uh -huh. a, a fries, and a, a Coke, maybe a Pepsi if that's your preference. And I was wondering what fast food might Decker have as a favorite. And I had an idea. I thought popcorn. He might no, not popcorn. That's stupid. That's not what Decker's interested in. I have to say, I think he'd have a cheeseburger, and I think it would be rare. 
uh, because he's full of, uh, you know, he's got that sort of edge that lets him, uh, he doesn't need his meat cooked. You know, he's almost like that caveman mentality, sort of that um, uh, uh, diet. What are the, the cavemen diet? What's the uh, cavemen the keto, diet? Yeah. The ketogenesis diet? Yeah, yeah, which yeah, I've been on, yeah. and um, it's pretty cool. Just so, keep, keep it out of the movie theaters, I'll ask. I hate when people bring outside meals into the theater and sit down yeah. and unwrap it and then it doesn't smell like a theater anymore it smells like a well a william what did you william what did you think uh, decker would eat what was your theory on that well, i think i think he would uh, go to mcdonald's and get that's what i would say classic too. big mac yeah i agree i mean listen i i totally agree i there's, there's nothing wrong with it and um some of the great uh, i had mcdonald's for breakfast and uh lunch today so oh, that, that's good. I mean, yeah. I really think all day breakfast is something really cool. No, I didn't. I had. Bre- you're not listening, okay? Okay. You you didn't listen. You jumped okay. to a conclusion because you your mind's fogged. Okay. With your own thoughts please. and ideas. What I said was I had McDonald's for breakfast and lunch, and what you said was, isn't it cool that how they have all day breakfast? You see how those two things got nothing to do with each other? Do you see how? I, I didn't have. I, you. I have breakfast. I had breakfast there. Okay. What's, okay. what's, what's your favorite movie? I had. A, I had. I had the egg McMuffin meal. What's? Oh, right. hold on, Greg. What's your favorite? Now movie? I want to get down to the bottom of this because he doesn't seem to understand. But that doesn't mean I had that for lunch. I had Big Mac lunch special number one. Uh, number one, large. Okay. Now, what does that have to do with them having breakfast all day? I ask you. Well, I thought you said you had breakfast for lunch. No, I. Well, you misheard me. Then that's fair. If you misheard me, say you misheard me. Ask, oh, I misheard you. I apologize. Ask politely for me to repeat myself, and I'll consider it. Okay. Please but consider. I will not consider it. Damn. Thank you, William, and be safe. Okay. Uh, let's go to Stephen. Tim, could I just? Can we just take a minute here yeah. to talk about my? Uh, my new, my new program that I've been working on. Yes, um, uh, l- let me just say, streets, uh, Stephen Davis is on the program. line. Yeah, I'll tell him about it. Stephen, hey Tim, hey, hey Greg. Hey, can you hold? Is, can you uh, hold while we what? get a, we get some news from Greg here? I'm going to give the floor to Greg, and then we'll go to your call. Do what you got to do, man. Okay, stay stay uh, stay on the line. Where, Greg, where, where do you live, Stephen? North Carolina. What city? Uh, uh, Winston Salem. Do you have any numbered streets there? Numbered or streets there? Are there is there, uh, is there a first street? Is there a second avenue? Anything like this? Yeah, there is. All right. Wouldn't you like to come get, come out of your house one morning and look at the sign, and it no longer says First Street. It says Marlon Brando Avenue. It no longer says Second Street. It says Catherine Hepburn Lane. It no longer says Third Street. Uh, it says James Dean Road. Uh, this is something that I'm working on with the mayors of a lot of the cities right. around the country to get rid of these numbered streets that no one cares about that honor nothing and replace them with icons of cinema. And I need the listeners to get involved, Mm -hmm. which is to call your mayor and uh, tell them to go to my website and let's get rid of these dumb numbered streets. Now, in some cases, you could make the number match up with a certain movie, and that could be pretty cool. For instance, Uh uh, uh, say uh, Uh, Kramer versus Kramer came out in 1979, so you might change 79th Street in Manhattan to Merrill Street Avenue right. and that type of thing. So I just need to get everybody involved in the on-cinema community. There's a lot of cities that have these numbered streets. There's a lot of people that I think really would enjoy a change. Uh, it would make these cities so okay. much more you've, fun. To you've had the floor for long enough of that crap. Um, what's your yeah, question, yeah. Stephen? Uh, my question is, uh, yesterday I received my Terry Green machine, and I'm unable to play the Little Dancing Man. I was wondering if, I can, if you can help me out with that. I am not able to help you out with that. Thank you, Stephen, for the question. Uh, let's go to Ben. Oh, man, these calls are coming in fast. Renzo, 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 are you on the line? Thanks to Johnny Five hey, Acres, who just said, great guys? idea, Greg. Yeah, no, it is a great idea, and, and I oh, appreciate yeah, by your the way, support. Hello. Thanks hey, to all the guys. commenters out that. there, the commenters hey, out there. You Thank you, guys. Thanks for hanging out and with get us. Get in with touch with the mayor, you know, in your town. These guys, they read the letters. That's one thing we're finding out, and you can start What do you mean you're finding out? Who, how have you been finding this out? Just from the response that we're getting, and you can send, you can start a petition. Who's we? 
Um, we're trying to get this thing going here. So what you can do is, is start a petition for your town. The previous callers in Winston-Salem, uh, find out who, who your mayor is. I, I told you you had the floor a- long enough for that. Renzo, what's your question? How are you doing, guys? I was wondering about your favorite movie theaters you've been to. Do you have one that you always go to, or do you have one kind of in the States that you know were really awesome and were ones that you always wanted to go back to? Like, I love the new Beverly Cinema in L.A., and I've been trying to find like other good theaters that are in the States. I like the, uh, the uh, Silver Saver Cinema in Norwalk because all the movies are a dollar. So you can go in there at 11 a.m., and they've got six screens, and you can, you can go watch all the movies. Uh, and spend six dollars total unless you get some popcorn which is two dollars well i've been sort of taking a break from going to the cinema um, out there in the world because i've discovered my wife actually turned me on to this uh and uh to this website that you go to um I, i'm not going to give the name of it right now but basically it's got everything and it's got all sorts of um titles and f- new movies they have the new um Fast and Furious up there that came out last year, and I just downloaded it right off the right off. It was totally free. It dro- downloaded, and then we have it's it. not the same experience as watching it on a real screen. <laughs> well, it Come is. On, I got a seventy-two a inch screen. Knows what I'm talking about? I got a seventy-two a inch film buff screen knows. with surround sound, and it's better than the movies because you don't have people eating popcorn. And seventy-two um, inches, nothing. A big, a real movie screen is more going to be like. Yeah, when you're four feet, feet away from the from the seventy-two inch, it's right in front. It well, feels like you're at a you big screen. You don't understand how the eyes work. Because so I don't want to give away this site, but it's the, really been a, a breakthrough uh, technology. Looking at an ant that for, that's free, on your thumb. It's like I'm not going to go see. Looking I want, at an ant on your thumb is not the same as looking at actual King Kong on the top of the Empire State Building. Well, we downloaded the King Kong movie from Peter Jackson the other day and watched that. That was a fun one. Well, that's and my all the point, movies. You've got to watch it on the big screen no, for these don't. things to really have any impact or power. All right, thanks, Renzo. Your sound we'll move system off of isn't going to compare thanks, to guys. a good movie theater sound system. It's so the cool. The seats aren't going to be theater seats in your house. I'm going to the Jordan. popcorn isn't going to be made in a movie popcorn we got maker. we so many calls coming in. Uh, it's, we're, 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 I feel like we're going to crash any second now. But Jordan, you're on the line. Jordan, what's your question? Jordan hung up. He, he had got, got cold feet. Spring chicken. Spring chicken, you're on the line. Oh, hi, guys. I uh, I just I just wanted to ask Greg. Uh, I have I have a friend who lives on Fourth Street in my hometown. Greg. Yeah. What would you suggest? What would you suggest I? For Fourth Street. I aim at? You yeah. know what? What I think that Fourth Street a good a good name for Fourth Street would be George Lucas Street because no. the, right. the Star Wars from 1977 Stupid. was actually the fourth in the chapter. And that would be a very easy way to remember your way around town when all the streets change. All right. Oh, uh, I, thank you. I don't, we don't, we're not taking any more questions about numbers today. Uh, Kyle it's, Mulligan, it's, you're calling these in. Are, it's not numbers. Hi, Tim. We're getting rid of the numbers and replacing them with uh, names of legends. Of Th- sorry about that, Kyle. We got uh, Greg oh. giving me trouble here. What's going on? What's your question? I was wondering with Decker. Is that going to hey, be Thanks for bringing or... Decker up, by the way. It's the whole purpose of having right. this call is to talk about the big premiere tonight at midnight on Adult Swim, the show that we work so long and hard on. And I got Greg over here talking about changing uh, 54th Street to Lois Lane Boulevard or whatever the hell it is. Well, I wasn't, um, yeah, I wasn't suggesting changing to fictitious here. characters. No, I was right. suggesting naming it, name it to the I know. Actress. I'm trying to give an Margo example. Margot Kidder Lane would be a good street. All right, what's your character. question you get about Decker? That's, the point that's is I don't want to talk about thing. this. What's your question there, Kyle? Uh, will Decker be available on the Adult Swim website? Uh, uh, I don't have cable. I mean, I don't know. Okay, I, I don't. If you don't have cable, I don't know that they're going to provide it for you right away. You know, well, but you, right could, away. you could go. You could ask your local movie theater to show it as a movie, which was the way it was originally made. Uh, don't do that. All right, thanks, Kyle, and I hope you're you're doing well. You're doing well. Yeah, uh, I'm trying. All right. Hang in there for me, okay? I need every single one of you. All the On Cinema family has got to stick together. Okay? All right. Take care. Uh, we have a... Uh, oh, Thanks, Kyle. Thank you. Ryan. Ryan. Hold on. Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hey. What's... Like, like Ryan O'Neill. 
What's your question? From Paper Moon. My question is, Decker, who inspires you most? Who inspires me most? No, he's asking, he's asking me that. Your connection's so bad, I can't talk to you. It's really bumming everybody out. Okay? And Zach, I have to tell you, I have one person I look up to more than anybody. Zach? Hey, man. What's up, Zach? Hey, man. I was just wondering, did you, uh, on the last Oscar special, um, did you punch Mark Proch in the face before it started? Excuse me? Did you punch Mark in the face before the the Oscar special? Did I part did I punch who? Mark Proach. Um I'm is that the Mark is the uh yeah, okay, sorry. Hold on, let me just get my bearings here. I'm trying to remember no, first of all, no. Um Mark is our impersonator that's a friend of Greg's who was on the show. Uh we, I well, uh, no, I don't think so. No, I didn't. Uh, we didn't have any issues with him uh, that I can remember. Uh, why do you? Uh, oh, I just saw that on his face. It looked like he. Uh, he did was have kind of skittish he, around he, you. He did have an accident about an hour before the um, the taping. He fell down. We had a, a flight of stairs um, that led down to the studio, and we had a dressing room upstairs. And he, I guess, he missed a step. I didn't get the whole story, but he. Um, it's not really how it happened. Okay. Well, he didn't. He, I, I, I'm not really involved Just with the don't, m mistakes he so makes. Yeah, don't tell him. You know? Happened. Don't tell him. Yeah. Happened. All right. Okay. He just seemed kind of skittish. I well, he's a skittish guy, I guess. I mean, you know, he's he's going through a lot, and uh, um, I think he was nervous because, you know, frankly, he wasn't doing very well uh, with his with his work that night. I think he knew it. Yeah, and I think he had found out a couple things that I found out, which I found out that he had been doing uh, Decker, you know, unauthorized. He had been, you know, we talk about unclassified here uh -huh. as far as Decker unclassified, but what he was doing was actually unclassified, uh, un uh, authorized. He was trying to save. And trying to save I'm not getting into footage, it, but let me really tell you, so that we if you saw any skittishness presented. from him, it might have had something to do with the fact that he knew that he was in violation and was actually breaking the law. Um, and I, I'm a nonviolent guy, you know. I don't use. And you didn't show up on set on the day that you were scheduled to be on set. Okay, there but was I'm, no my point is but to get somebody else to. Take I'm a nonviolent guy, Zach. So I'm not going to use violence towards anyone, no matter what. Uh huh. All right. Okay. When when an actor it sounds an like actor leaves a, a production, sounds like Zach's not convinced. But you know what? That actor. That's not my problem. I uh, I know the truth because the only thing that matter is the only thing that matters. Is what goes what's be, what's happening in my in my heart and what's happening in Mark Proach's heart, and if you can okay. if you can uh, find some evidence of him saying that it was uh, it was on me, then I'd be then then you know we can talk. But for you to come on to my show here today and come into this town hall where the On Cinema family gets together and congregates, and with your okay, this is this is Zach. He's going okay, I guess, and it's like, what do I got to do to convince you that I had nothing to do with that? I'm not. I'm not accusing you. I just, it sounds like I've you are, Zach, and I'm sick times. of it. I'm sick of it, these accusations, and it's disrespectful. And I'm so close to banning you from watching the show tonight. Hey, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I want to do it. I mean, I mean should I, I, I'm going to ask the, uh, the the folks on the message boards here. Should I ban this guy from watching tonight? I mean, should I do it? I got to know the question. If I got I got I need some thumbs up from everybody. Should I ban this guy from watching the show or not? Don't thumbs up, please. No, it's it's take it usually takes a second to get the people I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah, ban I, mean, I, I got bad be, news Zach. I got a lot family. of thumbs up. It could be a Nielsen family. Yeah, no, put some hearts. They want you to they want me to ban you from watching the show. Uh, now, here's I'm what I'm going to do. It. I'm watching it, and no one can stop me. I'm yes, I can stop you if you ban if I if you watch the show, you'll be in direct violation of my request. I'm watching it tonight at midnight, Central Time. Central Time. No, 11 p.m. Central Time. No, you got to get your shit together. I'm tired of you. And you, you know what? You can't stop me from. Yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll, Zach? Let me talk you down again. Let me talk you down. I am banning you from watching the show. Um, it's a 48-hour ban. So you will be allowed to watch the show on Sunday, okay? I can't. No. This is America. You said that you appreciate where we live, 
and I have the freedom to watch Decker, the premiere, tonight at midnight if I feel like it. You make a good point. Um, uh, you know, I, I got to think about that. I think you might be right. I don't know if everybody deserves the ban. Uh, why don't we do this? Why don't, you, why don't I lift the ban on you? You watch the show. All right? Okay. Thanks, Zach. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Listen, I want to uh, once again re remind everybody we are going live on to Decker uh, at 11 at 11:59 tonight. You tune in, and you will see the first premiere episode of uh, Decker Unclassified. And is it a spoiler to let the folks know that uh, Mr. Joe Estevez is back this season? Uh, no, we, we're, that's not a spoiler at all. He's been in a lot of the promotional materials okay. and everything. Well, yeah, Joe Estevez is coming back as President Davidson, everybody's favorite president. All right, let's move along to James Donner. James Donner. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, Zach. Hold on, we're frozen here. You ever see that movie, Frozen? I did see that one. Anyone give any bags for that? or? Ah, uh, gosh. I think we gave it. I think I gave it five bags. I, th I think. Okay. I, I'd have to check my uh, my my notebook, but I believe that was a five bagger. Sorry, folks. We just got a little Skype is uh, slowing down on me here. Let me just. Uh, I don't want to restart because we'll lose a bunch of calls here. So let me just close some programs. We got this. This program is call been... if you're interested in a new season of On Cinema. Let yeah, let's know. talk about that. Um, Let's go to uh, James Donner. No. Hmm. Stand by, everybody. James Donner sounds like James Dean. Uh, Greg, some of your favorite movies of the some of your favorite movies of the uh, past several weeks. You know, I've been I haven't I haven't seen so many of the new ones because this is a slow part of the year where a lot of new movies don't come out. So I've been watching a lot of classics, new movies every week. Classics at home, um, catching up with some of the new acquisitions at the Victorville Film Archive. We had a guy come in the other day, just off the street, and he had the entire uh, Police Academy collection, but he had five copies of each, and uh, I don't know exactly why, but he he donated the whole thing to us, and we got that. I mean, uh, if that's not serendipity, I don't know what is. All right, we have to restart Skype, so I'm, re I'm reopening up. If, uh, I, if we lost your call, please call back in. And uh, so, no, you're, so you're not going out to the movies these days? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm spending every waking moment at the movies and that I run a, a film archive with two screening rooms. And I'm going through and monitoring the, the new acquisitions to make sure that the tapes uh, are tracking properly and that, these, that no one's taped over any of these movies with something else. We had a, a, a copy of uh, The Fan. You know The Fan with uh, Robert De Niro? Um, no, I don't know that one. Okay. Sorry. Well, I was real happy to get it, and I put it in to uh, watch it, and it was fine for the first 10 minutes, and then it, it disappears, and somebody's taped some football game over the, uh, the thing, which I kind of suspected because there was a piece of tape over the tab on the uh -huh. cassette, you know? And that's the kind of thing you don't want in your archive, so... We kept the uh, kept it, and eventually, what I'm going to do is dub another copy of okay. the fan back onto this copy and restore it to uh, its its original state. All right, cool. Well, uh, a couple of FAQs I think we could do while we're launching relaunching Skype. Uh, Decker Unclassified is a six episode season, and that's uh, every Friday night for the next uh, six. Um, in uh, July 4th weekend is going to be down. There will be not an episode that weekend. And uh, so it's a to total of seven weeks of entertainment, but one of the weeks will be a repeat, I guess. And the series is a, um, I don't want to say it's a mini-series, but there is a through line. It's, it's story. not, it's a movie. Well, okay. It's not, let's just not say it's a movie for for the time being and and just 
Uh, Skype is. Let me just do. I got to do a full. Let's, let's not say that the the sun gives us energy then for the time being. Let's take some questions from the uh, comment boards. If you got questions in the comment boards, let's hit it and we'll do a quick. Uh, we'll do a lightning round as uh, we we take your questions uh, about Decker. Or about the new season of On Cinema. And I will uh, monitor these comments here. So let's hear your questions here. No questions coming in yet. A lot of comments. Uh, is a 66-minute movie? Em, see, that's that's where I that's where it, where it seems to fall apart. Your theory, because it wouldn't it doesn't really time out to be a full movie if it's uh, wrong. Actually, as as the film was originally produced, it was 77 minutes, and they trimmed it uh, when they turned it into this uh, six-episode TV season. So certain scenes are missing, unfortunately. Someone says, rate Decker unclassified on a scale from one, Decker Hawaii, to what? Oh, 10 DVD. I don't know what that means. Uh, I, I would give uh, this new season five bags of popcorn, which is the standard scale. I don't, I, the, the one to 10 scale only works when you're watching the movie 10 starring Bo Derek and Dudley Moore. Okay. Just doing some, Greg, so answer some more questions here. Can you see that? When's On Cinema coming back? Well, we have a pretty major announcement about that. Okay, let's do make. the announcement. Um, production for the new season of On Cinema has been moved to Victorville, California. And uh, that's, I don't know how much more I can say about it, but we will be broadcasting direct from Victorville uh, our archives are expanding. We're uh, taking on some new properties uh, as part of the Victorville film scene. Uh, it's kind oh, of somebody has a question the, here. The what is Hollywood. the um, when does the new season of Decker come out? It comes out tonight. It's tonight at midnight uh, on Adult Swim. Check in on that, and you'll get the first episode is titled "All Good Things." That's all I'm going to say about it. It's called "All Good Things." And, and as for on cinema, let me give you guys a hint. Only the true movie heads and film buffs out there will be able to figure this one out. But let's just say that uh, we'll probably be reviewing the new Star Trek movie. Okay. And then we'll leave it at that. And uh, we'll see. And I have not committed to doing another season of on cinema yet, but I'm pretty sure there's certain um, obligations I have that will require me to. And um, like here, obligation to be in the spotlight. And have I was going to say, what is the uh, what is the general opinion out there of Decker doing a commercial? I would love to hear your thoughts on that. What commercial should Decker be doing? Because I see a lot of these commercials when I'm watching TV, and I'm thinking, why doesn't Jack Decker show up in these? And he could be a spokesman for. I was thinking. Firestone tires would be cool. Orville Redenbacher or, popcorn. So I would love your thoughts about what. What about this? All right, here's the ad. There's a there's a shipment of of popcorn that's come into the movie theater, but the truck driver has been killed by terrorists, and so they can't crack the, no, the lock to the back of the truck to get the popcorn out. Meanwhile, all the movies are starting, and so Kington shows up and uh, he Decker figures Doritos. Out that, I think that would be actually a good he idea. Out that the code to the the lock on the truck is. Uh, Popcorn. That simple. Could be, that well, simple that, no, but I like so this guy. Says, open and they get Decker the Doritos, and, and I love. I have a, a sweet spot for Doritos. People eat Doritos at the movies. Black and Decker. That's kind of cute. That could be fun. Um, but we. I think you know. I'm not going to do a popcorn commercial, but well, it's, um, it's, but it's totally in character because not. the the driver of the popcorn Mountain Dew truck is a good idea. Is killed by I like terrorists. Mountain Dew. Um, what else we got? I'm a sellout. I'm not a sellout. Decker is, you see all these uh, action heroes doing spots. I'd like to do a Tag Hewer commercial, which is a beautiful watch that I've always wanted to own. Um, oh, we're back online on Skype, finally. Uh, let's see if this is going to work. It's so strange. Lou? 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 Tim. Hey, Lou. What's Tim, up? Greg, you got you got you got to you got to start you screen these calls. I, I heard all these foreigners in here in the beginning. Look, you know, let's start screening these things first of all. So like I say, love the hey, show. One okay. of my favorite foreigners of all time was Roger Moore. Another one was Sean Connery. So uh, But this is America, Greg, Greg. Peter this O'Toole. A, I hear you, Lou. All right, thanks talking, for the call. We're Rich, talking Richard Decker. Harris, we're talking Jackie Decker, Chan, friend. Jackie Chan. I hear you. I think that's, listen, you know, he's got a good, he's got, he's got, um, 
he's got a, a, pos a position there, and I, I support him. Um, I'm going to Nate. Nate Brown. Tim. Hey, yes. What's your first, question? First of all, congratulations. Decker is a uh, he's a legend. Thank you very um, much. And we are, by the way, I just wanted to, this is kind of breaking news. I just got this sent to me. We have been getting uh, preliminary uh, ratings coming in. And these are predicted ratings, which are exciting to get. This is a new technology that the network's using. And the predicted ratings, in other words, sort of like polling, you know, they do these polling. Um, they're already sort of through the roof. Um, and everyone at the network is kind of freaking out because they, they're like, uh, they've never seen numbers this high. And um, well, let's hope the real ratings actually match what the, what the predictions are, are signifying or are forecasting. But from what I understand, their success rate's very high. So they're about 90% right, these predictive uh, rating results. So the message I've just, and I'm just getting this now, so I, can't, I really haven't had time to digest it too closely. Um, but it's blowing my, it's kind of blowing me away, Greg. Um, probably people on the East Coast are watching it already because it's, it's later there. So that's no. probably what the predictive rating thing is about. I don't think so. It's probably uh, sorry, but did you have a question, Nate? Yes, absolutely. Um, what uh, does Decker eat for breakfast? Is he a Wheaties guy? What does he eat? Um, you know, we really haven't, they haven't done a scene in which we uh, see Decker eating very much. Uh, we have a couple of fun scenes, uh, but I I don't know I I we I don't really think about the I only think about my lines you know. Absolutely, yeah. yeah I can I, really I can tell you really... what some of the other characters eat for breakfast. No, he didn't ask uh, that. Dracula, okay. for instance, no would Dracula. eat blood, and that's why that was such a popular. All right, uh, let's go. Thank you very much for the call, season Nate. of Decker. Uh, with so many calls coming in right now, it's just overwhelming the systems, and that's a good sign, Emmett. Emmett? Is he for breakfast? Emmett? No, he didn't. Uh, Dracula, okay. for instance. Emmett, Dracula. you got to mute your feed. Thank you. Hello. Hey, Tim. What's your question? Uh, my question is in relation to the CGI and the use of the, the higher quality effects in this season. Oh, okay, Steve. Okay. I thought you were talking some stocks or something like that. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, what I know you got a bigger budget, but were you more involved in the CGI in this season or the effects in general? Because well, he, it seems like it's a huge he, jump, and it's like what it, I've seen so far in the trailers. It's a huge really jump. It's a huge jump from Decker Hawaii, but not a huge jump jump from Decker versus Dracula because he actually poached some of the guys that did the uh, the special effects on Dracula. Which yeah, I don't really get great into. Job, I, I'm sorry, they were brought back so. If you've seen Decker versus Dracula, and if you haven't, you need to. Uh, you'll see. Yeah, I, it's yeah, very I don't, much in line. Okay. That, can I talk for a second? Can castles I, were. Can, yeah, uh, let me just answer that question right now. The um, I honestly don't get too involved in the those sort of details. You know, I mean, I, I'm conceptualizing uh, story elements and really g getting a great a great team together. Uh, yeah. And then performing, acting, um, creating the universe of the show. As far as what the background looks like and how all this this mumbo jumbo that really is in the end just paperwork in a lot of ways. It's sort of bureaucratic. Yeah, uh, that can be anybody's job. I mean, almost anybody can do that kind of work. The editing and the uh, special effects and this. It's just a, m a bunch of templates and a bunch of downloaded um, music and things. These are not things that really make the show. What makes the show yes. are the conceptualizations and the writing and the performing and the story elements. See? So that why yeah. would I bother worrying about all those sort of buttoning oh. and tying, uh, tying the, you know, dotting the, the I's and crossing the T's and all that sort of bureaucratic crap that doesn't matter. Um, yeah. and, and the show would be just as successful if it was just up on the screen, just believe it or not, if you would just had me reading the, the outlines that I wrote um, on camera, I think would just would actually even be more interesting in a way. Um, that's not what the network wants. But um, in a way, you, you got to see my point. I think a lot of people do too. And actually, everybody on the message board here is blowing up saying that I'm right about 100% in, the, in terms of uh, hitting that nail on the head. Because yeah. what is the point 
if you don't have the conceptualizations or the ideas, what, you know, these people are just going to be making mush. But I will add, since you asked, that the Film Advisory Board, uh, which I'm sure you've heard of, uh, mm -hmm. gave a special award to Decker versus Dracula for the effects. And that's an award that we cherish and that I have on my wall. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. Thanks, guys. Uh, let's Thank go you. to Appreciate Dan your work. Dan Love your work. Thank you. Let's go to Daniel Davis. Daniel Day, Day Lewis. It sounds like uh, his nickname. If Daniel, Daniel Day Lewis's friends call him Daniel Davis. Davis. Shortened version of Day Lewis. I guess. So it's, that's cool. Sorry, we're having slow, slow uh, Skype problems here. Skype is sort of, I can imagine Skype up in their headquarters, wherever it is, sort of um, having a panic attack right now because like, we've never seen this kind of activity on our site. Uh, the, the pure, the lack of uh, tech, technology happening right now, or the using technology in this kind of way is blowing everybody away. Daniel Davis. Daniel, see, this could be the problem. Daniel Davis, Daniel Dave Lewis, as you say. Uh, Biagio, Biagio. Hi, Tim. Um, it's Jaden from Australia here. Yep. Jaden. And I was just wondering, um, I, so I work at the cinemas, and I would really like to get Decker down in Australia. Jaden, can I ask you, um, is Jaden sort of an abbreviated name for James Dean? Or are you named after uh, Will Smith's and son? I was just wondering. Um, I, so I work at the cinema. Hello. Okay, goodbye. Hello. Sorry, we're backing up. You here. can call any of your local theaters or call your local TV stations and say, you know, that we want this show here. These calls, Hello. These calls Hello. make a difference. Biagio. Letters make Biagio. Yeah, yeah. What is your question? Yeah. Um, guys, please uh, request. Please come to Brazil. I love you. You. Okay, he just hung up on himself. I'm not going to Brazil, trust me. Uh, who's this? Brett Zosbo. Hey. Mute your stream! It's muted. Okay, what's your question? Uh, what does Decker do in his spare time besides busting? Uh, you got to stop asking these questions, these hypotheticals. The, what Decker does is what you see on, in, on the screen. Those, that, the stories that we present to you. There isn't a bunch of backstory. I don't have time for that. But I will say this much, that his spare time is always interrupted by those calls from President Davidson. Yeah, I'm on. Uh, what do you think Every time Decker has a vacation, it seems like it's ruined by Davidson, who calls him in, calls Kington in, who's running a successful film archive, and gets them on the case. And that's what makes the show so exciting. Brett, where are you calling from? Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach, Florida. Are you planning on watching live tonight? Yes, I am. And do you realize that I'm about... a like an inch, I'm, a, I'm like a, a smidge away from banning you from watching the entire season. Oh, you can't do that. Because you got to stop worrying about the hypotheticals. Just, just sit back and enjoy the ride, and not. But these start things we need to know. No, they're not, Brett. And I'm going to ban you if you watch your mouth. All right. Well, he's off. All right. Line, and I'm not banning him. I'm letting him work it out on his own. Daytona Beach sounds like where the Nielsen ratings people are. I would not ban that guy. Let's talk to Blue Moose. Blue Moose. Yes, hello? Yes, what is your question? Hey, I have a question for Greg. For Greg, actually. Um, is there any chance that you might appear in the new Ant-Man sequel that's coming out? You know, there's a good chance. I mean, uh, yeah, that scene was a classic, and we still get cards and letters about it all the time. Um, so, I, you know, I think that they're Who's still we? just... There's no we. I think the more cards and letters that you send them and say, we want more of Dale in Ant-Man. We're not know? here to talk about Ant-Man. Um, We're here to talk about the Decker. More, the more likely it is that, that Dale might uh, take on an even bigger role. You know, So keep the cards and letters coming. To, All right, um, Blue. Uh, bad uh, news, Ant buddy. You're banned from watching the new Decker. Okay. Uh oh, I'm sorry. All right. Can I get it on DVD? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, I'm sorry. I just just had that question. Well, now you have it answered, and now you're banned from watching Decker. How do you feel now? You happy you asked that question? Well, I'm happy that I got an answer for it, but okay. not happy that I'm banned. Do you want to lift the ban? If you could, that'd be great. How many? What what season is this coming up? 
this is season three. Thank you very Court. much. All right, you're back on the watch list. Now, that's a different. It's actually interesting because you have the watch list out there in the world for terrorists, but we actually have our own watch list, and that's all of you guys who haven't been banned. All right, I'll say this much. I have, an, I have another question for you. The answer is also three. How many people went to see the Fantastic Four? Um, th three. It's a rhetorical question. They sold millions of tickets. The Taste Nugget. A few more minutes left here, guys. Robot Grandma. Who's called? There's too many. There's too many people calling in. If if you don't have a real question, don't call. Hang up. There's too many. It's overloading the systems. Nick. Look at this. This is a mess. All right, Greg. Uh, your favorite movies of the year. Oh um, yeah, uh, clearly, Decker. Uh, unclassified uh, the adventures of Decker and Kington, which I think is uh, going to win some Oscars, and, and that's a good thing. How about movies you hadn't done nothing, had anything to do with? Movies I had nothing to do with? I didn't even watch? No. Movies that you haven't, that you weren't involved with creatively. Um, well, I've been, I've been pretty busy, um, archiving what we have you know and um i have seen quite a few movies this year but a lot of them are things uh that are um what the hell Hello, keith yeah what's your question uh i was scrolling through the, my facebook account i come down and it says tim hey decker hint tim is live now and i come in this and is such a boring story. No one wants to hear about you and what you're doing on Facebook and how you decided to call in. Do you have a I question about to, Decker? Uh, you have a question hey, about on cinema or what? I don't know on cinema. I'm, I've never been to a town hall meeting before, and I just want to be at a, well, a town hall meeting and say my opinions and say what I want to okay. do and say what I want to do for the town hall. All right, go ahead. Let's hear your opinions. I'm curious to hear. <clears throat> so go ahead. Let's hear your opinions. I'm curious to hear. <clears throat> so go ahead. Let's hear your opinions. I'm curious to hear. <clears throat> <coughs> so go ahead, let's hear your opinion. Curious to hear. Very clever. Very clever. Very yeah, cute. Curious to hear. Very cute. Very cute. And you ruined everyone's night. You're banned from watching. <laughs> very cute. And you ruined everyone's night. You're banned from watching. <laughs> That's not how we play the game. What are your some of your favorite movies of the year, Greg? Norm of the North. Did you see that one? No, I didn't see Norm of the North. Uh, you should check it out. It's um, Rob Schneider and uh, Heather Graham. And I thought it was very funny. I don't know. Came to Victorville. Who's da is Daniel there? Daniel! Oh, oh, the, the forces, the forces, uh, the power is very strong with this one. Is this Mr. Heidecker? Yes, sir. Oh, well, uh, you know, uh, guess what? Hey, you're talking to you're talking to Pee Pee Head here, and I think you need to uh, I think you need to get Bill Paxton in there. I'll see you later. All right, take care. All right, we're all clogged up here. Greg, what's some of your favorite movies of all time? Or yeah. No, I'm sorry. Of this year. Oh, uh, there's too many. I mean, um, Dad's Army. Did you see that one? Catherine Zeta Jones. Uh, I didn't see that. No. Yeah, it's, it's very, very good. Um, Misconduct was another one that I liked. How about folks on the message boards? What are some of your favorite movies of the year? Maybe we can get Greg to weigh in on that. How to be single was good. Anybody have their favorite movies? Sorry, we're having more Skype problems. What was your favorite movie of the year uh, to the message boards? Folks, we've got a couple more minutes left here. We'd love to take more questions. I apologize for the technical uh, disturbances we're having with Skype. I'm going to launch it one more time, and uh, we'll take some questions on the comment boards. 
Greg, did you see uh, Deadpool? Yeah, I saw it. I, it. It's good. I prefer the original, but they're both five baggers. One that we went to see together, actually, um, with Ayaka, uh, was Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, which was oh, with very, Tina, f- very exciting uh, and fun, and Tina and, Fee, uh, and, Tina Fey. Yep, and uh, Billy Bob Thornton. What about the Hangover Eight? Did you see the Hangover Eight? Wow, come on, you can't pull one over. What about one Zootopia? Eight. Did you see Z- Zootopia? Zootopia Two. Zootopia. Uh, Zootopia. Yeah, I saw it. How was that? Uh, I liked it. I mean, you know, it's it's tough because a lot of these movies didn't get the attention they deserved and that we didn't have our show going in order to really explore them in more depth. And so just kind of throwing out these uh, abbreviated opinions. And well, you can feel, feel we're, because is, we're uh, having these technical problems, feel free to bloviate more. Um what was your favorite part of the, the Decker experience this year, Greg? Working with some of the cast that we had. Um, yeah, maybe we can tease some of the great cast that we're working with this season. We got some exciting names we want to talk about. Sally Kellerman. Sally uh, Kellerman from MASH. From the, the MASH movie and, and uh, TV show. Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield. And um, What other movies? I mean, you're a big fan of, you told me you were a big fan of hers. Lost Horizon, uh, the musical from 1973. That uh, and can you tell us who who Sally a, Kellerman plays in uh, Decker? Uh, in Lost Horizon, she was a journalist from Newsweek. I don't know if we. How can, many Kellerman heads we got out there on the boards? Just psyched about the great Sally, Sally Kellerman joining us this season, and we also have another huge, huge special guest coming up later in the season. And I want to maybe we could play a little twenty questions with the audience here. We got a. Um, what if we told you that we have secured a guest spot, one of the a member of one of the I think probably one of the top ten greatest uh, rock and roll groups of all time, if not top five? Can you confirm that? Yeah, I mean a, a true legend and somebody who uh, hasn't been in a movie since. Let's see if we I can get some guesses. We're looking for if, if you can guess the band, we'll tell you the name of the man that's that's coming up. What is the name of the band? And this is one of the great rock groups, I think, of all time. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm going to say top five or six for me. Um, what do you guys think? Who are we dealing with here? A lot of people guessing. No, I'm looking for the band names, not John Depp. Creed, no. I'm looking for, not Aerosmith. They're up there. They're probably four or five for me. But um, we're looking for, this is a group that goes back to the 60s. And they're um, they're instrumental in the the way music sounds. Uh, they're known for their. This is going to be a, the giveaway. This is going to be the giveaway. They're known for their harmonies. So they're known for their harmonies. What group is known for their harmonies? No, not the Rolling Stones. They're not known for their harmonies. Lincoln Park. No, this is a '60s group name. Uh, and I'll tell you what. I'll send you a. A gift pack, if you can guess this. Who the first person to guess this gets a gift pack. No, it's not the Beatles, but you're real close. And this guy was born in Ohio. The Beach Boys. Stuart Collier gets it. The Beach Boys. That's correct. We have a member of the Beach Boys joining us. Oh, and it comes to the Beach Boys. Who is a member of the Beach Boy? Who is our guest of the Beach Boys? Who's going to be joining us? Who is it? Who knows their boys? Last on the silver screen in a movie called The Monkey's Uncle, co-starring Annette Funicello. And he also appeared in some TV. Uh, he was on an episode of Home Improvement. And uh, I believe he was on an episode of Full House as well. This is a member of the Beach Boys, folks, uh, joining us for episode uh, four, uh, uh, episode four, right? Episode 404. It is. I'm going to give it away. I can't hold it in anymore. This is so exciting. Mr. Al Jardine will be joining us on Decker this season. And he really stole the show. He's he's a fantastic singer, of course, and musician, and was a great actor playing a character that you will have to see to believe. All right. I'm going to go and try Skype one more time. We've, We've had a lot of challenges. James O'Boyle, are you on the line? Uh, yeah, guys, I love this. 
Hey, James, how are you? Did you just hear the big news about Al Jardine? Hello? Oh, we lost him. Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I don't know who that is. All right, well, then I'm not taking your call. You're banned from watching the show. No, no. He, I just hung up on him. I can't take these people that don't know who Al Jardine is. Is it, sir, first of all, he didn't sound like he was calling in from America, which really ticked me off. And let's go to Robot Grandma. Robot! Hello? Hello. Hey, how are you? Uh, oh, where are you calling I from? I love the Beach Boys. I saw them. I'm calling from Australia. Goodbye. Well, I'm not dealing see, uh, with the Australians anymore. They've been nothing Al. but... How about Quentin Price? You should congratulate him on his acting in Decker. Quentin Price. Quentin Price, are you there? Oh, we have something kind of cool. Somebody cool calling in. This is kind of neat. Uh, where did they go? Oh, I lost them. Uh, Quentin, are you there? This is a mess. How about Keith Bates? Cassie Bates from... Uh... Keith Bates. Hello. Yes, how can we help you? A couple more minutes here and then we got to go. Yep, I'm still here. I still got all those ideas for the town hall. What's up? Um, one thing I should, think you should do for the town hall is get popcorn for everyone sitting in the town hall. Well, the, the town hall is a virtual town hall, okay? And I'm not. What, how, how's that going to work? Uh, virtual excuse popcorn? Me, excuse me. Hand up. Hand up. Uh, no, physical popcorn in the town hall. We make a physical house. You need to get help. I. Allison. Uh, calling. Um, getting Allison. Allison? No, Greg Howard here. Hello? Greg. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's your question? I've got to go soon, so you got to make your question quick. Yeah, I have a quick question for you. So um, I wondered, have you ever made any serious considerations about other actors for the role of Agent Kington? Maybe a Matt Damon of or course. Bruce Willis kind of guy? Yeah, of course. And, but your, 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 your signal is, is awful. You're ruining the town oh, hall. Oh, I'm going to take one more call, and then we've got to say farewell. Can you answer my question? Uh, yeah, I've thought about. I've, I, believe me, the offers went out just as far and wide as you can imagine. I think there'd be so many great actors that would be wonderful playing that part. Or ah, you just but could they crack the codes? Yes, because it's all written and it's all planned ahead. Benjamin Penfold Marwick has been on the line all hour. Benjamin, all right, thanks for the answer, Tim. You're welcome, Benjamin. I gotta. So we need we need a, a call screener here because I can't do everything. I tried to pick up on this guy and it and it didn't work. It's uh, interesting, though, we haven't had anyone else play Kington to answer the question. We Benjamin, did have somebody else play Benjamin, Decker, though, and I Benjamin, think he did a great job you're, you're in episode four of, of Decker vs. Dracula. Yes, we Benjamin. had another actor play Decker, and he got better, oh, better the last than the Tim ever. Shut up! Played. You're the last call. What's hey, your question? Cool. I'm a huge Decker fan. Wait a minute, where are you calling in from? I'm calling from Australia. All right, and but oh, you've got a Dakar question. I'm sorry, I'm a huge Dakar fan. I was wondering if you could get some Dakar into the soundtrack for Dakar. Well, I don't want to give too much away, but there is an opportunity. You'll see. What, I don't want to give this. I'm dying to tell you what's going to happen, but I don't want to ruin it for you. But believe me, Dakar is really, really important to me right now. And if I could just take a few minutes and talk about the status update uh, on that. Uh, you know, basically, I'm focusing all my energy right now on finishing I guess well I should start with the breaking news is that Axiom approached me a couple weeks ago and said listen I love where we're going the direction we're going and we uh, have the you know the, the EP was in the works the plan was to release the EP this summer and he, he put the brakes on it he said listen I believe in this group I believe in your writing I believe in your performing and your bass playing and your singing I think there's an LP in this. And he said, I want you, I want to write a full record and then we'll put it out on my label. Thanks, Chris Smith, for your comments. So um, I'm not looking at the comments, but um, here's the thing. Uh, so now I'm in the right, it's, amazing, it's a great opportunity, as you can imagine, because you know we have Empty Bottle, we've got a new song coming out called Trigger Everything, which is gonna blow up the charts. And, uh, of course, I have t uh, Farewell Tom Cruise, and I have a couple remixes, and we have the club mix of uh, Empty Bottle, the acoustic version, the slow rock version, the blues version. Now I've got to write about seven or eight more songs, okay? 
And yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's the process I'm in right now. And I have to tell you, it's the hardest thing I've ever done by about a thousand, about, like by a times Good a thousand. Good point, Tori Lee. And uh, uh, it's just been hard as hell. And if anyone has song ideas or titles or riffs, uh, I don't want to steal anybody's stuff, but if they feel like donating it, we are setting up, we're going to be setting up a way to do that. You can do it here in the comments if you've got song titles. Everyone that in the comments really that likes to car, uh, please type right now, I like to car. Everyone that doesn't like them, please type. Oh, uh, you don't have to do uh, it. I, I, I dislike to car. And let's get oh, a, well, let's, let's leave on a positive note. Let's leave. Uh, no, I know. I, I think feel everyone Dakar loves Dakar. Dakar has taken a lot of the energy away from uh, I think on we cinema. all love Dakar. We had an entire season of On Cinema that was slated to go. We had the financing. We had the theater secured and everything. And uh, I can reveal here today that Tim uh, shit-canned it in order to do a Dakar tour, which they never even did. Well, we are touring in Milan, out of the Milan area in Italy this uh, fall I'm going to be heading to Milan and you know what's what's kind of amazing is um, the the in in West Hollywood here and I don't want to keep going on because we do have to go but I, and I want to end on a positive note is uh, the Nortal glam scene in West Hollywood by, by Nortal I mean the northern Italian glam scene featuring you know Axiom and uh, Manuel and this dude Nick and their girlfriends and uh, Axiom's sister who I've gotten to know pretty well um, are all these just a great energy, great musicians. Uh, they're they're like family to me, and they're much more. In, and to be frank, they're a lot more supportive than the on cinema family. So uh, I don't want to uh, clog the whole on cinema town hall. I didn't try. I tried. I mean. Let me, let me be honest, Ben, you brought up Dakar. I did not bring it up. I was trying to stay out of it, right? Yeah, that's a great, Ben. I, I Thank you. The yeah, well, so, the, I mean, the short the story is, and just to capsulize this, the, the short story is the LP is coming. Uh, when, I can't say, because the writing is slowed down uh, due to just getting clogged with ideas. Uh, or not enough of uh, ideas, but anyways, look out for that. We're gonna leak out some things. There's a couple leaks coming, which are kind of actually cool. Um, but we're just keep 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 your head up and know that Dakar is not going away, and we are forever forever going to be the most important thing in my life. And mourn the it's season cool. of on cinema that was lost due to uh, Tim focusing on Dakar, and who knows how many uh, seasons of Decker were also lost and. Uh, how many other projects could have? Well, happened. let me just sign off by and saying. And how many movies that I invited you to that you didn't go to because you were practicing with Dakar? All right. Well, let me just end this by saying thank you, Greg, for joining me on this uh, On Cinema Town Hall. And thank you to the On Cinema family for being there for so many years now and supporting our work. And thank you to all the uh, fans of Decker and Dakar. And, uh, and everyone, check out Decker tonight on Adult Swim at midnight. And you're going to have a terrific time. We guarantee you a wonderful show. And this is just the beginning. Tonight is not the end of the road. It's the beginning of the road because we've got a full uh, season coming your way. And we can't wait to hear your thoughts. It has been a pleasure talking to you. Any final words, Greg? Thanks, Corey. Thanks to all the, uh, the people that were uh, expressive uh, with their feelings about Dakar. And thanks to everyone that tunes in tonight to what is sure to be a great uh, beginning, a kickoff to this season four. Thank you guys so much and all the best. And don't forget to use the internet to tell your friends to check out Decker season three, Decker Unclassified, coming tonight.